What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do unboxing and review of the new bag I recently purchased. Uh, Prada Reedition 2005. I was eyeing on this bag for a very long time. It was out of stock everywhere. I looked in every store and it recently got back to stock. So I went to Saks Fifth Avenue and I got lucky. It was the only one bag. They literally just received the bag in the morning and I came the afternoon and got this nice, you know, package. Also, I was thinking, should I purchase the Prada Nylon Reedition 2005 or Prada Nylon Reedition 2000? The difference between them is the, uh, the wideness, just one centimeter difference. Not a big deal, but also the Reedition 2005, which I just purchased, has a really long strap and also it has detachable chain handle, which is, in my opinion, looks a little bit nicer and also more convenient because the long strap has a little pocket which uh, can be used for AirPods, for example, or maybe some money or your lipstick. So let's unbox this package. And first of all, we see this pretty Prada ribbon, which can be used in the future. A lot of bloggers used to tie their hair with this ribbon because it's really cute. And then, and then we have this pretty dust bag with a logo of the Prada. This is how it looks like. So this is the metal triangle logo, you can see right here. This is the detachable keychain with the Prada logo. And you can remove it if you'd like. And this is the zipper, also made of leather. You can see it right here. Okay, let's open up guys. And what's inside? Inside we can see the big strap with the Prada logo as well. And also it has detachable nylon pouch with a triangle logo Prada. You can see right here. It's really cute. And it's actually big enough to put the AirPods or anything you'd like in there. It's a silver zipper. Clean. Nothing inside. So this one is really cute. And this is really long, so it goes across your body. We're gonna remove these things over here. You actually can see that the Prada logo is everywhere. So we have this two. So we're gonna attach them to the bag. And now we have this crossbody, nice bag. That's the one reason why I decided to go with this back instead of uh, Prada Nylon Reedition 2000. I think it's more usable and convenient because you can wear it even if you're on the go. You just put it across of your body and it's easy to carry things with this. Also, uh, it's a little bit bigger, which is very important for me. Let's see what's inside. Inside we can see another bag. And I assume that inside is a cha chain handle, see? So inside we can see this nice chain handle. We're gonna attach it to the bag right now. Okay, so we attach the silver chain handle and this is how it looks like, super cute. So basically, I'm gonna wear this without the big strap sometimes. I can just, you know, hold it like this over my shoulder because it's pretty long strap as well, so it's really convenient. And if I wanna switch the style, so I just um, add the little belt and it's gonna be more like a sporty kind of style, which is really nice, basically two styles in one just more paper to keep the shape and this is the Prada Authenticity Certificate card 
this is how it looks like guys so in the future if I want to sell the bag it's my proof that this is the original bag from the store there is a lot of different numbers this Prada product is granted a guarantee covering all manufacturing defects and it has a date when I bought it and all the details and numbers right here so this is the guarantee that this is authentic Prada bag I'm gonna keep it in this little envelope and now I'm gonna attach the strap and see how it looks like Okay, let's do this guys pretty simple you can also adjust this strap make it shorter or longer I think I like it longer because I want to wear it as a crossbody bag all right here we go so let's see guys how it looks like This is the style with this long strap. It looks really cute, I think. What do you think? I also like to wear it with the chain together. And it's a little bit below my waist, so it's pretty long too. Let's see how it looks without the strap. Let's deattach this. So the chain handle is pretty long too, so I can easily wear this without it. It looks really cute. Little handler with go with a like going out dress or like a cocktail dress. Also, I like it that it's not like super short, you know, so it's not like right under my arm. It's like has a little space and air, so it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And I think I'm gonna wear it both ways. Okay, guys, the most important thing we all wanna know how much things we can actually put inside of this bag. Right now it's empty, and honestly, it looks pretty small, but I'm sure we can fit a lot. So, first and foremost, the wallet. You can see this Michael Kors wallet is pretty big. I would say thick. I need to change it though. I don't need it. So let's put this inside first. Then we have the powder uh, with the mirror Givenchy powder. Let's put it there. Also, I'm gonna put this lipstick. And the most important thing is the phone. You see, this is the plus size, so it's pretty big. Okay, let's put it there. So as you can see, we still have a lot of space left. It doesn't look bulky at all. We can easily zip it, zip it up, and this is how it looks like. See? I'm sure you can fit a lot inside, actually, if you'd like. Uh, I don't have a key uh, for, the, for my apartment because uh, I open it with my phone usually. That's a weird new thing. But um, if you have a key, you can put this inside as well, and you can put your AirPods in this pouch. Or if you want to wear it without the strap, you can also put your AirPods inside because there is a lot of space left. So don't worry about the space. Thank you guys so much for unboxing this bag with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, hit this like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next videos.